Hi guys, welcome back to Tug Time. Thank you once again. And if this is your first time, thank you. Thanks for joining us guys, really appreciate it. We've got another cool thing. We always have cool things, that's what we do. That's why it's Tug Time. If it was just like a floor drain, it wouldn't be Tug Time. But here we are, this is a cool thing, right? Lincoln Conveyor Ovens. This is a new Lincoln Conveyor Oven and it's not just another conveyor oven by Lincoln. It's got some new, awesome features. Come on, let's do a little cooking. All right, here she is. Kind of pretty, huh? Now, Lincoln. We have, uh, some might look at our model numbers and go, huh? Because they don't always really make sense, but that's fine, right? This one does make sense. When we call this a Lincoln 2424, what we mean is, is it's 24 inches this way and 24 inches that way. So the cooking chamber is 24 by 24. You guys are good at math, aren't you? I can tell. All right, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put a pizza in. I got a nice uh, fro from frozen raw dough from Rich's. Thank you very much, Rich's. Rich's, it's rich. All right, put it in. On a conveyor oven, if you slide the pizza in, you're doing it wrong. It needs to be pulled in because the time of cooking that you have it set to that I'll show you, on this one it's 345, starts the very edge and goes to the very edge of the back, right? So if you're pulling it or you're pushing it, you're doing it wrong, okay? Here's a little tug time, pre-tug time tip. Pre-tug time tip, because we're gonna have another tug time tip. Anyways, put that on in. What makes this different? I've seen an impinger oven, right? Lincoln was actually the, uh, the founder of impinged ovens, the conveyor ovens. Impingement means to strike. I don't know if you knew that. That's on the test, so go ahead and you know, make a note on that one. Impinge, impingement. Okay, so what we're doing is we're forcing air through these holes. It's hitting uh, the product from top and bottom. In the past, whatever fan speed that we had, which is the fan, you can only really set the time and change the belt speed, right? The other things we could do is kind of rearrange some fingers and plenums and that's gone because now we can adjust top and bottom. So the founder has gotten better. So if you guys see down here, one of the other cool things with well-built, and this is across the well-built lines, they have a common controller now. So whether it's a fryer, whether it's a combi oven, whether it's a convection oven, they all kind of share a very similar uh, controller. In this case, what we're doing is we're doing 500 degrees. We could change it if we wanted to. We're doing 50% on the top and 70% on the bottom. And we only have a three minute and 45 second cook time. So this is the manual mode. This is the home screen, all right? So that's the manual mode and this is programs. So I can go to this one and it's already set for five minutes at 500 degrees with a fan difference of 55% on the top of 100 and then 70 of 100 on the bottom. If I wanted to also see this little belt direction here, you can hit that and you can change that. So it, it's not, you can't accidentally do it. You have to put in a code, but you could hit that, change it, and then it'll, instead of going that way, it'll come back this way. Let's see if I can't open the door and kind of show you, even though we're cooking. This is hot, be careful. So with the door open, you can see these fans are independent of each other. So there's a top and there's a bottom. Now we can control if, say we're at a, a, a K through 12 application and we have these and we have some in the high school, we have some in the middle and elementary school. Those elementary kids, they like that cheese white, even though they never get it from Domino's or Pizza Hut or fill in the blank other place, white, but they like it white. They say it's burned otherwise, right? The other cool thing about this, door comes off, okay? So when open, you can take the door off. Why do I want to take the door off? because now I have access to this and we can pull this out. All right, take the shelves off. Now, instead of having to feed it through the side if the door didn't come off, which almost none of our competitors do, we can now take this out and take this over to the three comp sink and clean it without having to move any other pieces of equipment, without having to change any bit of our line, taking the door off and sliding this out. Ah, so with this, 
what else makes it cool, right? Like, all right, like a new control and I guess split fans, that's, that's neat. Now we can actually control the things we want to. Other things about this, it is UL listed ventless on this electric model. Right now we only have electric on the 2424. We are gonna be going to a gas at some point that won't be UL listed ventless because it's gas. But this guy for one single right now is listed for ventless. We are working on currently, and it should be maybe even by the time uh, we're, we release, it'll be out, but we are working on a double stack that is ventless as well. So you'll be able to get a lot of throughput out of this. It's a really even, easy oven to use. Beyond that manual, I'm sorry I'm making Tucker walk a bunch here. We'll have to, let's see how close we are. Well, when I get back out of the manual, there's just like on the combi, just like on the, on the convection oven now, there's recipe programs. Like on the fryers that have them, there's recipe programs. On the Mary Chef, there's recipe programs. Let's, let's see if we can add some more. There's recipe programs, okay? So instead of having any manual and having anything set like that, you can just have, all right, breakfast or lunch or uh, maybe during dinner you have a couple of different types where one we're doing because the thing has always been with this once that belt is set it's pretty well set and no one's really gonna be changing it you're gonna be trying to change other things with this we really can do separate orders right so we could do maybe a, a pasta dish that really just needs a lot of bottom heat and almost none on the top we're just kind of browning the cheese or melting the cheese even uh, maybe we're doing uh, for a Mexican place and we're doing our cheese melt through this and we're just flowing. You can have it go quick. You can have the, the fan really going on the plate at kind of a, um, it doesn't matter as much, right? So we can even have that at 100%. All right, so like we were just saying, there's a lot of play. There's a lot of adjustability that we can do now that it doesn't just have to be one belt speed and you either push it in or we have the half pass, which apparently might be coming back. A little window here where you're having to kind of do this and pay attention to what that is. You really could, especially since it's a 24, you could have the two pies going at once if they're two 12 inch pies or 10 inch pies especially. And if you, as you are through with one and you're ready to change a menu item, you know, hopefully this will be a double stack if you're doing this, but you could easily do it to where now you can change fan speed and time. I would still keep the temperature the same, but then you can put a different product through and it'll change the fan speed for you. It'll change the, uh, the belt time for you as well. So. Let's, uh, ooh, look what's done. Look what's done. So yes, conveyors obviously can do pizzas, but conveyors can do, I've seen raw protein. I've seen uh, vegetables. I've seen obviously sandwiches. So don't just think of it as a pizza, even though we're doing pizza right now. Don't just think of it as a pizza oven. It really can do a lot of different things. And especially now that we have a lot better control over how we're doing it. Before I take a bite, let me give you a little Tug time tip. A, this is hot. Don't burn yourself as I can feel it on my hands. And then B, if you can see the oven behind me, there is a shelf that is kind of angled and one that is flat. You can always tell which way the oven is set up like that because the angled one should be a slide in and the flat should be on the way out. Also speaking of which way it's set up, which direction, we can change ours on the fly. You just go in and tell it, mm, I don't want right to left anymore. I want left to right. Done, easy. There's no service call. There's no ordering it from the factory that way. This is still very hot. So thank you guys very much. Uh, sorry I don't get to share this with anyone. So sorry. Ah.